higher. I'm going to showcase how to quick start with Power BI. So we do have different uh, connections. First, we need to check the connection information. And one more point, whenever you're working with Power BI, so we should have a proper uh, Microsoft MS Office uh, license because whenever you are going to connect with Excel or Microsoft Access or Microsoft related connectivities, so you might face some issues, okay? So I'm going to use some sample superstore data. Uh, one important point is whenever you are going to connect to any of the data source, so you have a couple of options. So you can have an option, just select the data, like select the table, you have an option to go for load or you have an option to go for transform data basically as you know we have etl extraction transformation and loading so if you want to do some transformation on top of existing data you can make use of transform data so i do feel this is very important phase whenever we are learning our bi and we do have calculations the tax related information as well but whenever you're going to load the data, you need to understand the data. And first important thing is the data type. You need to check whether the data type is correct or wrong, or whether we have proper data types or not. Because if you are going to create some part of data on top of existing columns, let's say if you want to create year column on top of order date, the the data type of that particular order date must be date correct so that is very important the data type is very important so whenever you are going to load the data check the data type okay sometimes you know in power bi uh, let's say if you have an integer data type uh, let's say we have postal code or zip code you can see postal code or zip code the data type of postal code is one two three correct so I will showcase whenever you're going to load the data into Power BI. So uh, I will showcase uh, the issue we do face. Okay, so that's okay. The, the, uh, obviously this is the data type of postal code is like the number, or you can also go for whole number, or this is obviously you can see whole number. Uh, but whenever you're going to load into Power BI, you're going to get summation, something like it will showcase an aggregate symbol. And importantly, we do have lots of options here. The first important option is like advanced editor because whatever the modifications if you are going to do, let's say I'm going to exclude city. When you remove city, you can see remove columns. So each and every step is captured here. And if you want to know what are all the columns removed or what uh, modifications we have done, just go back to advanced editor and you can see the M query here. So you can see like remove columns, we removed the column name is city. So each and every step is captured here. That is one important point and one advantage in Power BI. And we have uh, one more option called as match queries where if you want to perform joints between the tables, you can use match. You can directly match something like you can join tables uh, on top of the existing tables or you can create a separate join condition on top of these two so kind you can create a new match statement or you can also go for append where you know like append is something like union operation where if you want to append the data you can also use append queries and you, you have split, you can also see group by option. And importantly, we do have manage parameters. We can create parameters and we can restrict some part of data that is also possible by making use of Power BI parameters. And we have, let's go back to second tab, like transform. So you can also go for like pivoting, pivoting columns or you know like you can say replace values you have few of the options here like you can say reverse rows or uh, you have an option called as group by 
will come back to all these points and importantly you can also see add column one of the excellent point i have seen uh, by making use of invoke custom function we actually have the invoke custom function this is one of the important concept it helps in few cases whenever you are going to load some part of data and uh, which is a different case by making use of functions okay if you want to use functions and if you want to load the data based on the function or parameter value passing parameter you can do that and i do feel this is one of the best example where uh, add columns column from examples okay you can see uh, on top of existing column you can prepare the data this is one of the easiest way to create any of the uh, columns let's say if you want to create year on top of uh, ship date or order date let's go back to here order date let's select and you can make use of add from selection i want to create a column based on order date so the column name i'm going to use is year okay and what is the let's let's say i want to create only year you can type in okay you can type in 2019 just click enter that's it so it is created a year column straight away you know you don't want to write any a DAX for your uh, year functions or a date related functions. So that is what the advantage here. You can also prepare some part of data. Let's say if you want to go for November 2019, November 2019. And uh, this is also November 2019. And the third row is June, right? J-U-N 2019. Perfect. You can see. So if you want to know, if you want to get this particular format, this is not year. Uh, we have like uh, MMM, YYYY. This is the format. So if you want to display the first three, three letters of the name, that is the first three characters of month name. And um, if you want to display complete year, something like this format. It, it's tough you can see it is created uh, automatically but it's tough like uh, if you want to create these kind of formatting uh, by making use of date functions this is one of the advantage by making use of columns from example you can create these kind of columns so uh, pretty simple but you need to know that that's what you need to know what are all the options present in power bi Obviously, we are going to compare with some of the tools like Tableau or ClickQ. But basically, we have a lot of options which Power BI has given like to prepare some part of data. Even like in, in multiple tools, even in all the reporting tools, like we have few of the transform options. But yes, Power BI has given some of the options where you can create some part of data. You can see you can create a custom column or you can also go for conditional columns right so and we have few of the options here so let me load so click on this drop down make use of close and apply so once you load the data so you have an option to create some of the visualizations on top of existing data and as i said one particular option right like the postal code so which is an integer data type but you can see it is aggregating it is summarizing right you can see we are getting count so what we have to do is you have to go for don't summarize the data because it's a dimension right it's not a measure something like that so whenever you are going to create any reports before creation of reports prepare the data first data preparation is very important and let me create some sample data here yes you have you can create reports this is the report tab and you can view the data and you can go for data modeling here okay so i'll come back to each and every point so i am using a map visualization and let's say uh, it's not a, like as i say right the data type is very important we are not showing any globe symbol that is uh, a geographical data type but anyhow, it is going to create a map visualization that is the advantage of Power BI.
even though in Tableau and Power BI and Click, you like, if we have this geographical data, by default, it is going to create the world map. But importantly, we need to check the data type as well whenever we are working with uh, this kind of data. Okay. So, and check all the options, like what are all the options present in Home tab. And you can see we have insert. You can also go for question and answer. So like you have a Q&A and uh, when you click on Q&A, so you can type in, like let's say if you want to go for region wise, region wise sales, okay. Region wise sales report. Yes, it's it created a region wise sales report. So that's the advantage here. So you can create, uh, you can create multiple visualizations by making use of q and a so that's a uh, nlp like natural language processing where you can type in this is also available in power bi service where you can create um, dashboards by making use of this q and a option you can use some shapes you can use images you can use buttons text boxes and let's go back to modeling and we have as i said right importantly like you can create a measure, you can create a column, check on these options. And we have one more option called as new quick measure. Instead of writing some complex calculations, we have a flexibility to go for new quick measure where you can simply select what are all the columns you need to uh, use or what kind of aggregate functions you have to use, right? So we have a lot of options here. Like if you want to go for filter or Y2D, YTD or uh, uh, and you can scroll down, you can see some running total. So no need to write any complex calculations. So just make use of a uh, uh, new quick measure option, okay? Automatically, it will generate the DAX formula. You can check on that. So these are all the options where you can go for modeling and you can check, you can create a new measure a new quick measure, new column. And importantly, you can also create a DAX table. You can load the data by making use of some part of flat files or Excel, or you can also prepare or you can create a table by making use of tax queries. Okay, and parameters and all these options are also available. And we have some templates where you have a kind of a PowerPoint templates where you can also go for some themes and we have some page layout and very interesting and important concept is like bookmarks bookmarks are very important whenever you are going to create some of the real-time dashboards and uh, we have performance analyzer as well like you can also check what are all the formulas or what are all the columns which is taking more time you can uh, do some analysis that is what performance analyzer we have that option in power bi as well so this is what all the options like, yes, we have a lot of functions as well. We, we have functions and uh, we have lots of DAX queries like DAX related functions and uh, time intelligence, some filter options, calculate, all these options. So, so let's go for step by step process. But this is where importantly, I do feel whenever you are going to start with Power BI, if you want to learn Power BI, just load some part of data you can click on this drop down get data or you can connect to excel load the data before you load i do suggest go for transformations you can use transform the data and uh, you can prepare some part of data and you can load into power bi and create those visualizations we do have a lot of visualizations and we do have some more custom visualizations as well so you can see get more visuals so we have a few of the custom visualizations available. You, you need to add those custom visualizations. So click on add so that it will be added here and you can use those custom visualizations in the pages and you can create those reports on the fly. So thanks for watching and uh, yeah, please subscribe for more uh, Power BI video series. Thank you.